Find your best sensitivity. The majority of your aiming movement is done with your camera sensitivity. There are two types of camera sensitivity, one, no scope, two, scope sensitivity. Every scope has a different sensitivity. Let's start with no scope, first person and third person are kind the same. Here, I use my thumb to move my crosshair. This is how you have to practice your first and third person camera sensitivity. If your target distance is increasing, then you need to move slowly to adjust. If your crosshair goes too far from your the target, then your sensitivity is too high. Decrease your sensitivity a little bit, like around minus 10 or minus 20. Or, if your crosshair goes too short or it cannot reach your target, then your crosshair sensitivity is too low. Then increase your sensitivity by plus 10 or plus 20. If your aim is like this, then you're just fine, your sensitivity is as it should be. Tilt your phone left or right. If your crosshair moves too far or fast, decrease your gyroscope sensitivity for no scope third person. If your crosshair moves slowly or short, then increase your third person gyro sensitivity. If you manage to have your crosshair ending on top of your targets, then your sensitivity for gyroscope is just fine. Now about scopes, starting with the red dot. If your scope is moving too far or fast, then decrease the sensitivity a little bit. If you manage to scope perfectly to targets, then your sensitivity perfect for you. If your scope moving too slow or short, then you need to increase your sensitivity. Now with red dot sensitivity, if your crosshair moves too far or fast, decrease your gyroscope sensitivity for the red dot polo sight. If your crosshair moves slowly or short, then increase your red dot sensitivity if you manage to have your crosshair ending on top of your targets. Then your sensitivity for gyroscope red dotted is just fine. If those two steps cannot help you, then you need to copy your favorite player sensitivity or just use high sensitivity and practice a lot. You will definitely get better in 20 to 30 hours of training. Camera sensitivity, free look, does not matter most because of it's the eyeball thing. I recommend you to set it from 100 to 200 for free look camera sensitivity. ABS sensitivity. ABS mean, aim down sight, which is used for controlling recoil. ABS work only while shooting, and this is my ad sensitivity. To find your best ABS sensitivity just follow these simple steps. Just aim at the target and start shooting. Use your right thumb to control the recoil of the gun. I am disabling my gyro. Here I am not controlling recoil and this is the recoil of M416. If your bullets hit the target perfectly, then your ADS sensitivity for red dot is fine. If your gun is going above the target, or you can't able to control recoil, then you need to increase your sensitivity. As for my experience, I would say 40 to 69 is best for red dot. If you can control recoil like this or almost like this, then your sensitivity is perfect you just need to practice to get better with it. Is your aim is shaking too much like this, example like this. Then your sensitivity is too high you need to decrease it a little bit. Sixty nine sensitivity is perfect for me, it may be different for you. Depends on your device's touch response. Learn how to do spray transfer. This might help you kill multiple enemies in a single spray. You need to move your thumb left or right depending on the target. Just swipe your thumb left or right. 
don't forget to control recoil while changing your targets. Practice this for a week, it gives you muscle memory. So, you will know how much you need to drag while in a classic match. Now with gyro on always on. You can see the stability and accuracy of my recoil. If your aim is moving upwards then your gyro sensitivity is low or you're struggling to control recoil. Just increase your gyro sensitivity. 300 is perfect for me. As for my experience with gyro I would say 300 is perfect for any device you can also do spray transfer with gyro by tilting your mobile. Try to practice this every day. So you will get muscle memory, which helps you to know how much you need to tilt your devices according to the distance. You can also use ADS to transfer your sprays. So in case of using gyro plus ADS use gyro to control recoil and ADS to move your aim while shooting.